The great thing about this country is freedom of choice. If I want key lime Twizzlers, I just go to Florida. If I want orange Twizzlers, I just go to Florida. Well, this country has many great tastes and many great taste makers, and uh, Hershey has done us the favor of going around the country and finding us some authentic flavors associated with authentic places. USA! Flavors of America, Hershey's. We're about to uh, do this. Flavors of America, you've seen it on cooking shows, you've seen it in magazines, you've seen it with uh, a little meat snack that we're all so fond of. But uh, there are many great flavors when it comes to this country, and states uh, and cities are associated with certain tastes. So Hershey's has gone out of their way to put together a little feast of the USA, and uh, why not start at the start? You saw them already. Twizzlers has two flavors, uh, both orange cream pop and key lime pie. So I guess you're getting northern Florida with the orange cream pops and the keys with the key lime pie. And uh, we went to great lengths to find these candies. And there were actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different uh, varieties. And unfortunately, we are without one, but we're going to do our best to find a substitute at the end to make things right for you. But let's start eating and then we'll get talking later. Um, heads, it's key lime. Tails, it's uh, orange for first. Okay, tails. So we'll start with orange. And they have this fancy pull apart bag, easy open. Let's see here. Graphics line up before opening. Oh, it's sticky. Mm. Maybe that's just from the candy. But that's always sort of the problem with Twizzlers is you get them open and you can't really put a, uh, uh, a clothes pin up here because it's too short. And you can't really put a rubber band around here because then it's open at the top. It's just a lot of rigmarole. I'm glad that Twizzlers has gone the distance to create this new grip. And look at that. It's like a band brand new bag of Twizzlers all over again. So let's get down to it and see what's happening inside these orange creamsicle Twizzlers. Now, as you can see, oozing and permeating is the creamsicle portion, and on the outside is the orange. So let's see how it, how it is. It is a bit like eating a creamsicle. You get the creaminess on the back of your tongue, you have the orange on the front, and these chew a little better than a regular Twizzlers. Because like a regular Twizzler is sort of like a Stretch Armstrong of candies. That snaps right off. I don't know if it's because of the lack of density in the middle because of the soft cream. But, so far so good. I really like these Creamsicle Twizzlers. The cream is a bit gummy. I got a bunch on the back of my one tooth. I feel like I'm going to have to rinse my mouth out before we go on to the key line, but. Well played, Twizzlers. I'm gonna take these to a beach party when I sit in a chair and get a bad sunburn like a lobster. <sighs> Moving right along. Ugh. Key lime pie is a great delicacy. Uh, even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. Oh man, you gotta see these. It's like they're all popping fresh with creamy goodness. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Here's the runt brother that didn't get any cream. You have no future here. Come with some cream in your midsection or you're not getting eaten. All right. I was a little harsh on that one. I'll eat you later. Mmm. Mmm. We may have a flopperoo, so it's a good thing that Florida went on two different flavors. It 
it's more the meringue flavor of the key lime and less of the tart, sweet, beautiful lime. So if you can think of taking a piece of key lime pie and scraping the meringue off and just licking it and then putting the rest in your hair and then realizing you didn't want to do that and just sort of re-leafing it out, that's what this is like. It's very, meh. like, I can't even think of a bad Twizzler that could match up to this. It's just very uninspiring. So, by default, the orange is right now my favorite, and this is my least favorite. I don't think it's coming off the charts on the least favorite later. Moving right along. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Hershey's Cherry Cheesecake Bar. Uh, this says it's a flavor of New York, and your support of Hershey is an opportunity to share happiness and help educate children in need through Milton Hershey School. I guess that's where they take you, and you get into the chocolate fountain, and you're like, Oh, I love this chocolate! And then you get bumped in, and you go up the... Oh, never mind, that's a different movie. But, uh, since 1884, Hershey's has been kicking it out, and this is cherry cheesecake, artificially flavored candy with crispy cookies. I think it's going to be a lot like the, uh, milk chocolate, like the white deal. This Hershey bar has a way to open itself, too. You gotta hold on to the one part and, oh, it looks like Cousin Milton's acne. Mmm. Wow, that's not appealing to the eye. Texturally, it's a little funny, but it, it's gotta taste good, right? Let's see. It's not heavily white chocolate, which I'm not one to automate. I think it's a bit of a trope to just automatically diss white chocolate. I don't mind it in the right setting. This tastes a bit like a hug, like a Hershey Kiss hug that's white and chocolate. But it's like a cherry hug. But it does have that essence of the Hershey's cookies and cream when you eat it. So I guess it's just a Hershey's cookies with cream with cherry, and they're just going to call it cheesecake. It's not bad. I don't feel like it's going to knock America's socks off, and it's definitely not a Hershey bar. And it's, I put it 1 in 1A with a Hershey's cookies and cream. Not so bad, Al. Moving right along. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And when I think peanuts, I think Georgia. You get one of those bags of the hot peanuts and you get in there and you just eat hot peanuts and you're like, mmm, as a northerner, I'm very accustomed to this hot peanutness. But being known as the peanut state, I guess it makes sense that Reese's lends their self to that. Uh, there is another peanutty bar coming up, but it has such a twist that we're saving it towards the end. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, you have a honey roasted uh, variety. I'm just thinking it's going to taste like uh, a Honey Nut Cheerio mixed with Captain Crunch. Call me crazy, that's just my first impression. Looks like a regular old peanut butter cup. Smells a bit like a regular old peanut butter cup. I got some chocolate in my eye, excuse me. Whoa, whoa, that's so flaky. Like somebody that used to host this show with me. Flaky. Oh, oh, no, oh, never mind. I can't talk that way about Uncle Sai. Don't forget his $10 pyramid. It's very sweet. Not that a uh, regular old Reese's peanut butter cup isn't sweet, but it's sweet, like right off the bat and maintains itself. 
I don't necessarily get honey. I just get the difference between like Peter Pan and Skippy. You know, it's just like a sweeter peanut butter. The honey vibe's not there so much. The roasted maybe, it is more savory than a regular peanut butter cup. I wouldn't trade this for a regular peanut butter cup. For being arguably the most bought candy of the Hershey's Bunch, I imagine this one going on in the annals of history as a less favorite Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. So, we're to a uh, point in the video where you may want a break. So I'll give you a break. Oh, I can't give you a break from the bad puns though. Kit Kat Strawberry California Variety. Uh, it's a crisp wafer in strawberry cream. So it reminds me a bit of that stuff Rock and Randall made at the beginning of the uh, Twinkie video where we just bashed up all those strawberry cookies and put it in some creaminess and just sort of went to town. Here's my problem with this. It reminds me of Pepto-Bismol. It just reminds me of a regular Kit Kat that got dipped in Pepto-Bismol. Pepto in look alone. It is a pink uh, Kit Kat. And there's a wide variety of Kit Kats for sale in Japan. They have many different flavors. We'll see if we can't track those down. That was requested a thousand years ago by a girl named Akuma. So we'll see if maybe we can find some Japanese Kit Kats and do a whole video on them. Right now, we gotta work with the Kit Kats that we have and give a break to the strawberry California variety. It is very creamy. And it does have a problem that other Kit Kats have where it melts in your hand, not in your mouth. Every time I eat a Kit Kat. That's why I don't eat so many Kit Kats. They always melt. That is a taste treat. That is far and away the best Hershey's Taste of America thus far. I'm not going to say I could eat those all day, but I could gladly eat one and then go for a second. But I will not do that as I need to keep the Venus in check as we finish our last variety and then we'll move along to an alternate for one that we cannot find. Don't get me started. Payday. My mother met my father while he was eating a payday. Uh, there used to be the planter's peanut bar too. But payday has a soft spot in my heart and has a soft spot in the middle with its gooey nougat. But this payday, I don't know if it's going to be good or it's going to be one of those things that are so bad it's good. But payday went deep to the heart of Texas and came with Texas barbecue payday flavored. Now, if you can't eat some barbecued peanuts, I'd say sure, why not? But uh, I don't know if the sweet factor is going to be outweighed by the spicy factor here. I just don't know. This one was a rarity. I had to snatch it up quick. Let's see what the payday flavor of Texas barbecue is all about. Ooh, yeah. And once you get it open, you do immediately get that vibe of a bag of barbecued peanuts. But it's on like the equivalent of a melted thing of butter. Like it's not visually appealing at all. At all. I'm actually Frankly, I don't know if I'm going to like this. I'm going to eat it for you, because we do this for you. And I've got kids to put through college. Randall and Monk Monk. Uh, I imagine it's going to taste like a mistake. It looks like something that you found under your couch, like after you spilled a bunch of peanuts. Yeah, it looks like it should be floating in a pool and be like, Hey, don't worry, it's just a Snickers. Eh. But, um... Maybe we'll be surprised, but let's see what the payday Texas barbecue is all about. Do you remember corn nuts? 
And maybe you remember coin nuts because they're still a thing, I just never go looking for them. It reminds me of corn nuts right after you chewed gum. That's about the best I can, I can give you. You kind of get a hint of caramel and it's quickly god smack by some barbecue flavoring. It's like if you took a handful of Casey Masterpiece Lay's potato chips and crunched them up on a peanut butter sandwich and then wiped your hands on the bread. I don't know anybody that was looking for that hair juice. I'm sorry. But speaking of Lay's potato chips, as you'll remember in our Lay's uh, Do Us a Flavor video, we had a hard time finding one of the flavors. It was barbecue, no, it was bacon, cheddar, mac and cheese. We went everywhere in a two state radius and 200 miles. Uh, much the same here as it concerned the uh, Hershey Kiss Hawaii variety with coconut. We looked everywhere. We looked in Rochester. We looked in Elmira. We looked at the state line. Could not find it. Could not find it at all. One online, one store would send you some, it would cost you $9 for the, the kisses and $12 to ship it. And I'm no mathematician, but it sounds like the only person winning there is the U.S. Postal Service! So I said, hey, you know what? Keep your Hawaii whammy jammies down in Hawaii and you enjoy yourself, shaka bra. I got a replacement, and it's not even a Hershey product. It's an M&M Mars. Journey with me as we open a bag of M&M Strawberry Nut. I don't know. I imagine a peanut butter and jelly sandwich again to tell you the truth, but this is a bag big enough to share. You got old yellow peanut guy there eating a strawberry. I guess that's foreshadowing. It's like all those little larvae at the bottom of the ocean that have plastic in their stomach from eating around their environment. This guy's just eating strawberries. So let's see, as a grand finale to Hershey's of Flavors of America, we are the world, we are the children. We'll go to m and Mars to wrap it all up. And, uh, oh, oh, they have exotic M&M colors like pink and green and brownish red. It's like the words of the uh, late great Chris Cornell, all my friends are brown and red. Let's see how the strawberry nut M&M goes down. Not bad. I mean, we had raspberry M&Ms a thousand years ago in that one clearance bit of doom. They'll get you by in a pinch, but I don't see them maintaining. So anyways, in conclusion, from six to one, we'll call these a, a side bonus treat and we won't even include it in the ranking. Number six, Payday, Flavor of Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas unless it's grosser. And then it's this candy bar. Good day to you, sir. Number five, the, oh no, I'm sorry. The key lime variety of your Twizzler Florida key lime pie. Uninspiring, just very meringue -y. Number four, and this is just for <clears throat> not enough deviation maybe, your Reese's Peanut Butter Cup from Georgia, honey roasted. Just a bit sweeter. No great uh, different taste. Number three, the Hershey Cherry Cheesecake from New York. Uh, it is what it is. It's kind of like the Hershey's Cookies and Cream, but with a fruity taste. It's all right. Number two, the Twizzlers uh, Orange Cream Pop representing Northern Florida. I would guess that's where the oranges are. Um, they didn't have an alligator flavor because people would have thrown them out. And number one, strawberry Kit Kat again. Uh, we'll go on the hunt and try to get some of those Japanese Kit Kats real soon and do a whole video on those. And these are just two leftover pieces of Twizzler. So, do us a favor, 
Tell us your favorite flavor in the comment section. We have big stuff coming up. Next week it's Father's Day. Oh, Faja, Faja. Uh, I got a couple of people in my life that are like sons to me, and uh, they're frankly out shopping right now. And, um, you know, it's when you adopt, you think that maybe you're rescuing them, but it turns out that they're rescuing you. That's if you adopt a pet. I mean, if you adopt a human, of course they're going to change your life. What do you think I am? Some kind of freaking jubilee? I don't even know what that means. What is a jubilee? A juju fruit? Who cares? All of our great candy videos are on one playlist. Check it out. And don't forget to share, like, subscribe, tell your friends, watch more videos, spend money, go out in the world, pick up candy. I'm just giving you a big honeydew list. But number one on your honeydew list, go to at Ken Murph Do This on Instagram or Twitter. Ken Murph Do This on Facebook. And until next week, when we celebrate the daddy of all holidays, I'm Murph, and I will see you next time we do a this.